How are you doing this? She has two sisters. I love these down bad. Time. But my boyfriend got this for me because I said I wanted to learn how to crochet. So we're gonna try it. We've got our yarn, our stuffing, our crochet hook, and the wee wobbly bits. Instructions are inside of this. Yeah, these are the wobbly bits. So we can go to thewobbles.com slash start and type in this password and it'll take us to the videos. With any Woobles kit, you're gonna be doing more than just pass the time. So if this is your first time crocheting, that means you're probably gonna make mistakes and that is totally okay. Pull that yarn out. Uh, and if that yarn's actually coming from the outside of your ball and this label's getting in the way, feel free to take the label out. Keep that, the yarn draped on your index finger towards the back third of your finger, clear and behind the yarn that is draped on your finger. Last step to get into crocheting position, pick up your hook and stick it into the little loop. All right, so I'm finally, after like five videos, four, in crocheting position. I'm worried that my index finger string is too loose, but we're gonna, we're gonna start. In the hole that is marked by this orange stitch marker. I need to see her do it. And then put your hook immediately to the right of that so that the hook is under those two strands of yarn that look like a horizontal V. How are you doing this? Wait, hold on, hold on. Jeez down and under the working yarn and then put it behind the working yarn. I fucked up already. What the fuck did I do? Oh my god, what did I do? No. Hand yarn wrap around and then here. Wait, no, 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 no. This way, this way, then around here. Jesus, okay, wait. Grab. We're taking this, we're putting it in this hole, and we're pulling, nope, and then we're putting it in the orange one, and then we're pulling this string here and through the other hole that we made. Oh my god, that is so hard. You're gonna pull the hook through the hole that the hook just went into in opposite directions to artificially make the hole that the hook needs to go through a little bigger. The new loop that you just brought through stays on your hook and then push your hook off to the left so that this new loop is also- So it's supposed to look like this with two loops. And if you left the tip of the hook facing you, you actually wanna rotate the tip of the hook down to face the piece again, it's on the hook. So move your hook parallel to your body. Don't wiggle it around. If you've only got one loop left on the hook, then congrats, you have finished the single crochet stitch. I didn't do that right. Something's wrong and I don't know what. I think something might be wrong. This is kind of hard, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Huh? If you feel like you didn't do that correctly though, either tap on the help icon or take your hook out of the piece. I'ma come back. I'ma come back. For sure. That's crazy. All right, so this is update one of me reading Akhtar. I do have the physical book. <laughs> But I'm just, I'm listening to the audiobook. Midway through chapter two. So what's happened so far is Favor was out hunting and she came across a doe. She was about to kill the doe, but then a wolf showed up. She's like, oh my God, it's a majestic looking wolf, but I'm gonna kill it before it has a chance to kill me. So the wolf goes to attack the doe and she attacks the wolf, shooting it in the side with an ash arrow. And then while it's wounded, shooting it in the eye. She skins the wolf and then she takes the deer home to her ungrateful family. I literally hate everyone in her family. She has two sisters. Her sister's names are in this book somewhere whose names elude me because they're such horrible people. Nesta, the oldest, and Elaine? Yeah, 
Nesta and Elaine. Nesta's the oldest. She's the bitchy one. Elaine is the middle. I think they tried to de like depict her as kind of like airheaded. And then her dad, who is handicapped. They ended up becoming in debt. And then debtors came and they beat the dad up and broke his leg. So the dad can't walk now. Or he can walk, but it hurts. So he doesn't do anything to provide for the family. He doesn't work because he's ashamed. The two sisters, Nesta and Elaine, also don't really do anything to provide for the family because they used to be rich and Nesta and Elaine remember them being rich and not having to do anything so now that they're poor Nesta and Elaine don't want to work we're left with Feyre doing everything Feyre comes back from hunting she's like this is what I got and Nesta's like you smell like pig go clean up they use her they hate her they end up going to the shops uh, they found a mercenary. The most mercenary tells them about fairies. They go back home. A monster shows up and is like, who killed him? Pharaoh's like, I did it. It was me. What I got to lie for. It was a wolf. Possibly a fairy. And with everything that y'all have done to humans, I did the world a favor by offing this man. And so he's like, according to the old fairy law, a life for a life. Because you killed my friend, literally him in cold blood I see his skin sitting on your table come live with me in my palace huh that's the part about this I don't understand you unalived one of my close dear friends in punishment I'm gonna pick you up out of squalor and bring you home to live in my mansion with me huh and they try to frame it as like a oh no Prithian which is where the fairies live it's such a horrible place because it's full of fairies and fairies do all these bad things to humans and death is the least of your concerns if you get taken by a fairy what's more concerning than dying they're not explaining that well I'm confused what did they do to humans humans that's so bad I, I haven't gotten that yet but we are only in chapter two we finally made it back to the castle Feyre and um the monster that kidnapped her went to the dining room and he shifted it turns out he's not a monster he's a high fey I think and he's handsome he's trying to get her to eat and she's like we can't eat fairy food it's bad for humans and I guess he's gonna try to get her to eat that's where I stopped my prediction she was describing him as not ugly so I'm assuming that this is the love interest she was also like this man has to be powerful he's a high fae he can transform from the wolf to you know a regular fairy but he has on fighting clothes so he looks like he can fight as well so I'm thinking she's gonna like fall for this guy this is gonna be the guy she falls for but first First we have to go through the whole you kidnapped me and took me away from my family that hates me so I hate you and I think there's gonna be like a um there's gonna something's gonna happen to where like sh he's gonna be redeemed in her eyes but my thing is like how can you just look I really want to know how he could just look past the oh you murdered my friend thing I'll update y'all when I read some more temperatures of around 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit these conditions are not just hazardous they are catastrophic by any standard if you ever want to put me to sleep, just throw on one of them space fact videos, like the four hour long junts. I don't know what they put in them, but I'll be knocked out. by the protected human body. As the silicate shards descend through the intense atmosphere. Like, it's so interesting, but also the voice, the voices be so melodic and sleep inducing these space fact videos space documentary videos i love these down bad like the people who like asmr videos real bad i'm on space videos real bad Just took the cookies out. I hope they're not burnt. But I had to show y'all my cute new oven mitt. Father paradox and the fact that everything. I'll take my daughter's cockroach and survive anything. Bye. See ya. Oh. Oh. Never do that. 